<laughs> Good evening. How y'all doing? All right. Great. How many of you know actually know how many members in our country are incarcerated right now? What's the toll? What's the number? We're right at two and a half million individuals, men and women, that are incarcerated. So that means for every individual that is incarcerated, there's a family member on the outside. That means they have parents on the outside. They have children on the outside. And so for everybody that is on the outside that has a loved one on the inside, somebody on the outside is struggling. That means people on the outside really don't have the resources that they need in order to help for themselves. And I'm speaking from personal experience, because at a very young age, around about 26, that's when I got married. I married Melvin Ray. He was my husband. And it was six months later that he ended up going to prison. And there's nothing like having something torn out of your life abruptly, especially when you love somebody. It is so much emotional baggage that comes with that when you have a loved member on the outside. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Because now you're left with having to deal with all of the struggles on the outside. Because that person may have been the breadwinner, and now you're having to take care of all that by yourself. Now you have your children, if you have children on the outside, wondering where their mother or where their father is, and they're locked up on the inside. There's so much that goes on with an individual who's lost someone. It's an emotional baggage. You, you become stressed. You end up losing weight. You, you, you feel like you're about to lose your mind. Does anybody understand what I mean by that? Because they're on the inside, and there's really nothing you can do. But you hurt. You have pain. You feel a little shame. You feel like you don't have anybody to talk to. But yet you try every day to get up and you try every day to move on. And it's hard. It's extremely hard. Especially when you don't have a resource and you don't know who you need to talk to. And that was the case for me. I didn't know who to talk to. I didn't know who I could go to. Because a lot of times you're hurting and you don't think anybody understands. And so if you don't think anybody understands, you don't share your story with everybody. Because you don't feel like they understand. And it was after this that I ended up saying, you know what, we need a resource. And that's what Melvin is doing now. He's creating a resource for those who don't have a voice. And I ended up writing a book, and it's called Incarcerated But Free. And I wrote it as a resource for family members who don't have a resource. And so as part of the Free Alabama movement, what we want to do now is to create a resource for families in their homes to have someone to talk to having a resource to be able to understand what everybody's going through. Using the social media, using the Free Alabama Movement Facebook web page, and using the website to be able to interact with other families who totally understand. So that's what we want to do. We want to open up homes. And if you are willing to open up your home, we're just asking you to see Ms. Woods and see Ms. Scott. If you're willing to do that, open up your homes. Do book studies. Be an outlet, be a source for other family members who need a source. Because there's so many people on the outside who need you. And I know you need them, because you're not alone. As I said earlier, there are over two and a half million individuals incarcerated. And double the number of family members on the outside. So we just encourage you to be an outlet, be a source. Go online, create online um, forums, you know, to have conversation with other family members. So please, if you can at all, open up your homes, be a resource. Thank you. All right. Woo!